prior to lithium batteries, back to the full meal deal of a solar, a basic solar system, a basic AGM battery system, and a typical 2000 watt non-hybrid inverter. People look at just the price of the big components of solar panels, maybe a solar controller, but they don't even typically see that. They definitely focus in on the um, price of an inverter, but they don't realize that just the price of inverter will not do anything all by itself. You need an inverter. We always use the highest quality equipment we don't install the $200 inverter you find at the truck stop or at Walmart or anywhere else. All of the items we use have internal transfer, transfer switches. That means they're wired into the existing AC electrical system in the RV. So that means all of your outlets and the microwave are typically powered. Um, but the inverter needs a remote. You need a battery monitoring system. There can be, for an example, three to $500 of items to install the inverter. Four aught cable, lugs, heat shrink, split loom, a sub panel, circuit breakers, etc. on top of labor. Installing inverters can take six to 10 hours of man hours to do that. Installing a solar system can take 10 to 15 man hours, depending on the size. So when customers see the price of the major components, there's a lot more to getting it finally installed into the RV. So for a typical, back to the original question, for a typical solar system, that might mean 600 watts or less. Um, AGM batteries, maybe four, six volts. Um, gives you 440 amp hours and a 2000 watt pure sign uh, magnum inverter for an example and the remote and everything you could spend seven to ten thousand dollars all together for labor and installation materials um, that would be a starting point for what I call the full meal deal if you're just doing basic solar now maybe customers have no need to have all their outlets powered and the microwave. Then you can just do basic solar, maybe two AGM batteries. Um, still need a battery monitoring system, a shunt-based battery monitoring system. You know, you're gonna probably spend three to $5,000, depending on the, the final scope of the, the solar, um, in the battery system. So that would be the basics.